Hey there, and welcome to our tutorial on how to set up paid and unpaid breaks in the time clock. Setting breaks helps maintain compliance and ensures accurate payroll. Access the settings of your time clock and then navigate to breaks on the left. You can set the type of breaks, either manual or automatic. Setting manual breaks will let your employees start and end breaks at their preferred times, whether they are paid or unpaid breaks. Let's do it together. Name your break type, for example, lunch break. Select whether it's paid or unpaid and set its duration. To add another break type, click on Add. The difference between paid and unpaid breaks is that paid breaks are included in the payroll hours, while unpaid breaks are deducted. Ensure break policy compliance by preventing early returns. Simply check Restrict Early Returns from this break to keep operations running smoothly and maintain labor law compliance. If you choose automatic breaks, break time is deducted after a set number of work hours, regardless of whether or not the employee took the break, and these can only be paid. For example, let's set a 30-minute break deduction after seven hours worked. So, for example, if a shift is eight hours long, the paid time will be 7.5 hours. Now let's see this in the timesheet. If you are using manual breaks, they will appear on the by date, before the start and end times of the shift. If you have more than one break, you will see a breakdown of the break times in the start and end time columns. When using automatic breaks, you'll see them displayed on the timesheet between the total hours and daily hours columns. The break time will be automatically deducted. That's it for today. Thank you for joining us. For further assistance, feel free to use our Help Center anytime.